A lot of people tell me I'm really devastatingly good looking, so. I don't really see it. I'm going to have to pass. That is underwear clad suspect Luca Magnotta auditioning for a position on a reality TV show. The audition took place five years ago in a high end Toronto hotel, and the gig was for the show Cover Guy. It was a competition to choose male underwear models. We wanted to show you more of this, but uh, we can't. And here's why. The producer of the series told the Sun News Network that he sold the footage by exclusive arrangement with other, to other media outlets. Here's Sneha Kokarni of Newswire interviewing the producer earlier today. Hopefully, if nothing else, uh, it might help in, in, uh, in the uh, In the in search, the certainly, of... but is that an exclusive agreement tied to a dollar figure? Um, yes, it was. Uh, that really was associated with the covering the cost of obviously having to uh, spend the time to you know pull this footage and uh, go into an edit suite and uh, to be able. Can you to, tell uh, us how much? Uh, no, I, I I won't do. With analysis, Ray Hurd is the former head of Global News. He joins us now in our Toronto studios. Ray, what do you make of this? Well, I talk as former head of Global and the editor of the Montreal Star. I find this unbelievable. Why? It's check book journalism, Krista. That is not allowed, not necessarily legally, but no honest, ethical journalist and no editor-in-chief, no publisher in Canada pays for news, period. But, but hold on. This guy is saying, look, I have to be compensated for my work here. Labour went that's, into this. That's ridiculous. Why? They're promoting him and his show. He's getting free promotion. He charged a fee for it. That's his business. If a newspaper paid for news, and I find it's hard to believe that CTV, maybe this is because they are owned by Bell Media, which is so greedy, maybe CTV did pay for it. I'm surprised that the star would pay for news. He says it's a production cost. I dispute that fact because every day people get clips about the news, for example, from movies, and you don't pay for it. If the star and CDV have paid cash for it, that's their business. I'm not saying it's illegal, but in terms of journalistic principles, it is unacceptable. Are there any circumstances under which um, advancing any money to anyone uh, for an interview or for footage or whatever is legitimate? Say it was the cost of one video disc, 20, 30 bucks, that's not a big deal. I think this character made a mistake in not saying whether big bucks were paid or small bucks. If it's just the production cost of a few dollars, but I kind of doubt that because I don't think he's that hard up. I'm going to tell you a story now that has not been told before. When Terry Fox died, I was running Global News, and we decided to cover the funeral of Terry Fox. I got, and CBC got, a telex in those days from CTV News saying they had exclusive rights to Terry Fox's funeral. I called the Globe and Mail. It was a page one story the next day. CTV claims to have exclusive rights to a national story. My neighbor in Rosedale, Toronto, was the principal of CTV, John Bassett. He apologized to me personally, and Global and CBC were allowed to cover the funeral. That, at that time, sorry, when was he... what we, we thought CTV was guilty of checkbook journalism. They probably weren't, but claiming exclusivity to a news story is unacceptable if it's of national interest. Paying for it, and I'm not talking about a few nickels and dimes, but if they paid real money, I think that is unethical, but it's obviously lawful because there's no law that says you cannot indulge in checkbook journalism. Who typically would sign off on that kind of decision, either at the Toronto Star or at CTV? Well, it has to be a very senior executive. Um, and again, I say to you what I said earlier, if we knew the dollar figure, we'd know exactly how serious this was. But it sounds ominous and disturbing from what I know but, about but it at this stage. If 
it is an ethical breach. What does it matter what the dollar figure is, if it's a dollar or if it's $100,000? Well, because, you know, to make a copy of, you know, to make a tape or make a transcript costs some money. But that's but not that's, what he's yeah. saying. He's no, saying no. I was reimbursed for labor. Yes. Time well, spent. Well, I think it's more than that. If it's just for... Uh, I, I still dispute that because every day you people at Sun, the entertainment shows, get clips of items. I am not aware of many cases where they charge people to broadcast or publish news. That is that is the issue okay. at stake here. Let me put this to you. It's well known that we paid for the exclusive rights uh, for the trudeau Brazo boxing match. That's not news. Why is that? Sport and boxing is entertainment. And actually, if you did pay for it, congratulations, because the proceeds of what they raised went to charity to help people in need. So if this character we've just seen is going to donate however much money he earned, maybe to the victims of sex crime, then I would exonerate him. What Sun did was ethical because you were helping to stage a charity event to raise money for people in need. Jonathan Cruikshank is the publisher of the Toronto Star uh, and my former boss, by the way, at CBC. Yes. And I can tell you, based on my personal dealings with him, that he regards himself as something of an arbiter of ethics and journalism. Oh, yes, does he Jonathan does. Cruikshank and uh, executives at CTV uh, need to answer publicly for this? I think they do. Uh, that they have to explain why they appear to have indulged in checkbook journalism. And again, I say it's perfectly legal. But in my limited judgment, or humble judgment, you know how humble I am, it is uh, not ethical practice. I think the people who will be most disturbed by, disturbed by this um, exposure or news that we're broadcasting now will be the hardworking, decent journalists who work for those two organizations. Most journalists I know, and I've been a journalist and I've employed journalists, don't like the very idea of checkbook journalism is odious to them and it's odious to me too. We appreciate your insights as always, Ray. Thank you. Ray Hurd, he is the former head of Global News, joining us live here on Canada Live. <laughs>